Yes, uh, thank you very much. Na huli na naman tayo. <laughs> Welcome to What's Up Dog again. This is the last segment, of yes. course. And uh, together with us is, uh, of course, the Miss Aklan. Kasi may, may, con may magandang... Uh, Connect. Connect Don, eh. he's a forensic anthropologist. Forensic anthropologist. And of course, uh, I would like to just you the world renowned plastic mm -hmm. surgeon. Napakapala dati. Yes, so uh, a the founder team. of uh, robotic surgery, robotic abdominoplasty, robotic diastasis surgery mm -hmm. from Brazil, and now she's practicing in, in Singapore. Okay, no other than the, uh, Dr. Dr. Marco Faria, Faria Correa. Correa. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. And Pleasure to be here with you. Thank you for inviting me. Yes, and welcome to the Philippines. Thank you. And I know I just pulled him to be one of our guests because we're holding a convention uh -huh. here at Ducet Hotel mm. uh, for the American Academy of Aesthetic Medicine mm. together with the uh, PPI, the Philippine Institute of uh, Pan Pacific Pan Institute Pacific. of Pan Surgery. Pan and of course, together with us is the Miss Aklan, si Noel. Noel, mm -hmm. again, welcome again to uh, the fourth segment. Sir, what is a robotic uh, abdominoplasty or robotic surgery? Robotic abdominoplasty is a, the robot is a new machine uh -huh. that uh, help us to perform better, very delicate procedures. Okay. And I introduced it in plastic surgery three years ago uh -huh. uh, to do the rectus plication. I mean, the muscle, yeah. the abdominal muscle after uh, giving birth, right. when the baby grows inside, the muscle stretches, expand, yes. expand mm -hmm. and then you have that bulging belly. Right. Mm -hmm. That doesn't matter how much you do exercise, you cannot get it back because it's a gap in the midline yeah. that mm -hmm. you call rectus diastasis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. This I've been doing uh, with minimal invasive surgery that I also right. introduced the method 25 years ago with mm -hmm. endoscopy. Mm -hmm. And now I like say upgrade it for robotic because yes. robotic brings that 3D view, very precise movements, and it's for both. Mm -hmm. Women that have nice skin, no redundant skin, mm -hmm. and just the muscle is the problem, or for guys after being a bit fat and losing weight that have that hanging stomach because right. of the muscle. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, for, for the, uh, our televiewers, robotic uh, surgery or robotic uh, abdominoplasty is a non-human touch you know yeah. it's all robots you know this the surgeon correct me if i'm wrong sir the surgeon is uh, a little no bit away no. from the from the subject or from the patient when you do the surgery it's just like doing ipad no uh -huh. <laughs> you know you're away from the, the from the subject and uh, it's totally different also from endoscopic surgery so what's the difference between having an endoscopic surgery in comparison with robotic surgery yeah uh, first the patient sometimes is scared. Dr. Marco, I like the way you operate. I like your touch. I like, I am afraid of being operated by a robot. Yes. No, the robot is the name of the machine. Yes. But it's the surgeon that goes there, put all the place, uh, the, the, the tools in place. Mm -hmm. Then after uh, start the operation, organize everything, mm -hmm. sits in the console, oh. get that stay a few meters from the patient. Mm -hmm. Because from there you can, but it's the surgeon that perform everything. The robot is the machine that everything is guided by the surgeon. <laughs> okay. And then it helps to make with more precision, no tremor, yeah. uh, uh, very small. That's true. No tremor. That's no the most important tremor, one. Yeah. And a fantastic 3D high definition view oh. that's much superior than our eyes. Mm -hmm. The range of motion of the small tools are more than our hands mm -hmm. and can work inside cavity through incisions like it's three small, millimeter, uh, seven millimeters, incisions. seven millimeters. That's yes. why the advantage is leaving no scars yeah. for patients that don't need to remove redundant wow. skin. You know, uh, Miss Aklan here, Noel, is also a, is a forensic anthropology. Probably, Noel, do you understand some of the uh, terminology, terminology oh, of uh, yeah. Dr. Correa? Yes, And, yes, uh, you know, uh, is this also going to be applicable to forensic? What do you think? Um, so far, we haven't really had, uh, when it comes to forensic anthropology, mm -hmm. because we're dealing with osteological remains, okay. so it's very delicate, especially if it's over 50 years old, uh -huh. so right, what right. they really require is a lot of, um, you have to be very Preca careful, careful and careful. very, careful. very yes, precautious, mm -hmm. so they always use the human hand and we always use a toothbrush. Believe it or not, yeah. it's just a brush. For, 
For yeah, cleaning for the, the, the bones. The bones. Yeah, and for studying sites, since yeah. long they are using yeah. endoscopy to go inside the mums to, to check everything without open, without destroying oh, everything. Yeah, they use that, endoscopy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Robotic is, is the gold standard of endoscopy. Maybe in the future to do more study, they still can, can use this kind of machine. Yes. Yeah, definitely if they would have maybe smaller, small yeah, very, yeah. very, very smaller like cameras and smaller, really smaller techniques, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah, the advantage of this one is the 3D. Yeah. Because the, the, the normal endoscopy is just in the screen, it's two dimension. Right. But the, this new scope for the robot, you have the, the depth sensation, Identity. the 3D. HD, yeah. It's incredible. You Man, feel like you are sitting nice. inside of the patient. Yeah. You, know? uh -huh. right. you are like, like, like. So it's the same inside. sterilization technique that you had after yeah. this yeah. It's, the surgery? It is amazing, amazing. How many technique. cases have you done, you know, for the robotic uh, abdominal? Oh, uh, the last year already 10 cases. Okay. Yeah, that's something that we just starting and, and promoting bit by bit, and then mm -hmm. still not really well known around the world. Mainly right. for the. That's thank you for the opportunity to share with you public. Yes. This is strong. I think program. on Monday, right? Mm -hmm. Monday you will be doing a robotic procedure. No, this Monday I do the Brazil. Brazilian butt lift. Oh, Brazilian butt well, lift. Yes, butt lift. Oh, wow. I'm you a know, Brazilian. For the girls, you know, yeah. uh, Brazilian butt. You know, have, is that an implant or just? Uh, we can do with implant or just shifting the fat from the areas you take so from you the area that you don't like and put in the area yes, that you need to. Yes, I'm, nice I'm doing that also. It's yeah. like we call it fat transplant. Yeah, fat where transplant. we could probably discuss a little. We extract the the, the fats. fats and preserve the fats, mm. and then we inject it to the butt. Correct. Uh, there's yeah, no, I, I there's heard no you, are, you are very good in that. I heard, <laughs> yeah. And there's no way of having rejection, right? Because it's your it's own fat. Your it's own called autologous yeah. fat. Like so you take out two birds in one shot. You don't have the, you have a big abdomen with a flat uh, butt, uh -huh. but now you can have a, a prominent big. butt with uh -huh. a flat abdomen. Correct. Right. Is that right? Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. In, so Brazil, in Brazil, they say that say, no butt, no business. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You have Brazilian uh, really, really crazy about have a nice shape in the butt, a flat stomach and a nice butt. That's why the technique is so, so good. Uh, applicable there. Dr. Right. 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 Jansen, we, yes. I want to ask the, uh, the robots about the. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you bring the robots or uh, do you, the, this is a. Uh, the, this, uh, machine, this machine uh, is a dev uh, was developed by NASA right. for doing telesurgery, interplanetary surgery like right. this, and started a long time ago with the evolution of this. And then uh, it's being used for many specialties, mainly for uh, uh, prostatectomy. When oh. the man has a, has a cancer in the prostate, right. in the old days to remove that cancer in the prostate, many times damage the nerves and lose the potency. So that's now, the same. Now with robot, we can go so delicate, delicate and remove the cancer without affecting the power of the man. Wow. Oh, so, wow. so it's a different machine? That it's the same machine. The, it's the, the same, same machine. machine. I this just, is available here in the Philippines. Yeah, right I now. just uh, designed some instrument that allow me to adapt the technique to adapt right. the use of robotic for plastic surgery. Oh, and that's good. And this is also already available here in the Philippines. It's available here, yes. And you are the one who performed that. Yes, and, and then we are planning in the future to do a, a um, workshop about doing, that and produce in more. Yes. Uh, Only for, in the Philippines. Another, another breakthrough. Soon. Yes, another breakthrough. Yes. Yeah. How about the see, you know, see Mr. Klan, you, you are a forensic uh, anthropologist and you finished your school, her school in the U.S. And then she came back to the Philippines to help the Filipino people mm -hmm. and to be a uh, uh, candidate for Miss Philippines Earth. You know, wow. what a super woman. You see? Beautiful I mean, and what, intelligent. What, what can you, uh, can you uh, give some comments for Ms. Klan? How can you describe her? Yeah, she is not only beautiful outside, but also intelligent. It's uh -huh. amazing a person like this. I don't know if she needs anything. Yeah. Janada. <laughs> Janada. <laughs> Janada. Yes. So, yeah, I mean, um, what's your plan after Miss Earth? I mean, you, uh, you are already in a, a forensic anthropologist. I, I don't know how many are you here in the Philippines. Maybe I, she's the only one whom I know that finishes this school. Yeah. Anthropology is the same On the type forensic of, side. Forensic side. Yes. Mm -hmm. But there's, um, we have a lot of big minds here. Everybody's amazing here. Mm -hmm. We have a forensic pathologists like Dr. Fortune, mm -hmm. and Dr. Ed Irfe. We have all these people. Yeah. So uh, in terms of anthropology, it's not widely studied here. Uh -huh. They only study mostly cultural because yes. um, to study forensic and biological anthro, yeah. you really have to have a cadaver facility. Right. Yeah. Which is a body farm, so that's mm -hmm. where I was trained. Oh, okay. yeah. Most so you're like a pathologist, also, huh? 
Yes, but we don't deal with the, the flesh. It's we more on the more identification. On the, yes, the identification and the bone structure. So oh. it's just all about bones, like all, all day bones. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. wow. But we need more on the, uh, the archipelago or the... Uh, our traces of uh, from human the variation. Old, yeah. yes. yes. Well, we study that also as an anthropologist. Mm -hmm. Before you accomplish your degree, mm -hmm. you really have to base touch field on all the fields. Mm -hmm. So um, we do study the human variation, and I do know about the human evolutionary path, all that. So that's part of archaeology somewhat, but that one involves more funding, oh, and okay. um, because it, it's very. You, you need to hire a lot more scientists. It's not just the anthropologist. Yeah. You need an entomologist. Yeah. You need a geographer, a geologist, because mm -hmm. you need to take care and make sure that if you're doing excavations, you're doing it right with the, with the background, you know? So you can't just touch the land and dig right now because right. you might be damaging the environment. So that's yeah. why I'm an environmentalist. Yeah, that's, that's when I, uh, yeah. comes into my mind, yung uh, ating mga minuno. Uh, oh, the oh. Filipino people, right. ano ba yung unang ancestral natin? Oh, uh, did you come up to that uh, study? There, there are several studies on it, and UP usually uh, publishes. But um, I still stand by the original study, which is we came from about, there were four um, waves of migration. Uh -huh. And that was, uh, one was from the, the first, the, yes, the Malays. Yes. The Malays. That was, we had the Indones. Yeah. And uh, then there was the Negritos, and then last was like the U the Eurasian yeah. tribes. Do you don't you don't have any plan of going to medical school? And you said you told me uh, off the air that you want to be a plastic surgeon like oh. Dr. Korea. Before, <laughs> back in the day, but then I figured, oh, there's a lot of surgeons in the world. No. Maybe I should do something in in forensic. And then I I ended up doing it at the body farm, and I loved right. it so much. And mm. the feeling of um, being able to reunite loved ones with mm -hmm. their, you know, just giving them closure. Yeah. I think that's the best feeling for me. Okay. That's why I keep on doing forensic. Yeah. Even though you spend eight hours in the lab with three cadavers, and mm -hmm. sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's easy. Mm -hmm. it, ju it just pushes you. Wow. <laughs> uh, Dr. Korea, um, any last word for our audience about robotic abdominoplasty, about the convention that, will be, that is happening right now? Yes? Yeah, just to make clear that uh, the difference of uh, convention and robotic is the conventional is for those patients that need to remove lots of skin. Mm -hmm. Robotic is to repair the core muscle that play a very important role in all our life activities mm -hmm. from the, our physiological function, respiratory, urinary, but doing exercise, the stability of the spine, then is a double gain when you do the, the muscle because you gain cosmetic uh, appearance better, but also the function of your body is much better. Mm -hmm. I think we'll be one of the most popular robotic surgeries in the future because every single woman, pretty woman, they have a baby, they complain after that that they have that small bulging stomach that need to correct the muscle. So uh, yeah. maybe in the future you can operate from one country to another country. Yes. Yeah. Using uh, internet. <laughs> in in, 1996, in yeah. 1996 was the first telesurgery done in telesurgery. the world. Wow. 1996. 1986. Yeah. 1996. Using robotics. Thank you very much. And uh, yes, yes uh, thank you. Mr. Klan, will you invite uh, everybody? When is the pageant? And invite them for our... May, nine, May 19, right? Uh. Yes, um, so our coronation night will be on May 19, and it will be in MOA Arena, SMOA Arena at Pasai. Uh, please come, it will be delayed telecast, it will be shown the next day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, if to just follow uh, our official Facebook page, mm -hmm. Miss Philippines Earth, and you can keep up with our resorts for competition, which will be on the 21st in Pampanga, and um, all the other events that we're doing. And special thanks to Carousel Productions. And of course, Mampichi to, and Lorraine. Yes, Tita Lorraine and Mampichi, thank you. And of course, uh, yes, how um, about any announcement from the Philippine Medical Association? Yes, the upcoming uh, conventions, the 111 conventions, Philippine Medical Associations, with the spearheading of our new president, Dr. Santiago. Joe Santiago, a very good friend. Uh, yes, 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 on May 15 to 18 at the PICC Manila. So join us, doctors, for that uh, very interesting convention. Yes, uh, any, uh, uh, yes. where can we get in touch with Dr. Francisco? Uh, East West Biointegrative Health Center, my clinic, we are located at Faraday. And um, call 403-5238 for the appointment. 
Yes, you can uh, log on at www.jansencosmeticsurgery.com. We have a Facebook and Twitter account. And we have branches in Manila and in Angeles uh, City um, at 521-1444 or 0917-5287897. You can also get in touch with Angeles, Angeles Pampanga, Pampanga and with bunch. Dr. Uh, Badi Kililan. And uh, of course, I would like to thank some of my, uh, the girls from Miss Philippines Earth. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Congratulations, Dr. Korea. Dr. Korea. And Dr. Ah, Dr. Yeah, you will be a doctor also. And Miss <laughs> Aklan. Miss Aklan. Uh, yeah, Noel. And of course, we'd like to thank also uh, Miss uh, Chill, who is uh, Chill. Chill is a friend also. Oh. Yeah, I say a patient. <laughs> oh, okay. And of course, uh, Miss Rhea Udeo. And of course, the, the staff from Janssen. And this is Dr. Janssenica for another episode of What's, What's Up, up Doc? Doc?